What's up? This is your girl, Antonise, bringing you the hottest interviews here on The Vibe here at Impact 89 FM. Tonight, we have a very cool guy here. He's been traveling around the Midwest and the East Coast. This is Jay Scripps. Say what up to the wonderful Vibe listeners. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? How's everybody doing out there tonight? It's your boy, Jay Scripps, leader of the New World. <laughs> oh, New World. Okay. Thank you so much for taking time to kick it with us. So, you're from Detroit, right? Correct. I'm from Detroit, West Side. West Side. I was just about to ask what part, because at Michigan State, a lot of kids are from the Detroit area, so I'm sure that they know about you, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. So, when did you start rapping? Like, what influenced you to start this? Oh, uh, man. I've been rapping um, professionally for, like, since I was, like, a young kid. Okay. But uh, I actually got into the music industry in September 21st, 2010. Mm-hmm. That's, like, when I dropped my first video, Here I Go. So it's been about almost about a year and a couple of months now since I've been in the music industry. Nice. So you've been doing it since you were a kid, unprofessionally, like, was it? Unprofessionally. Oh. Just rapping and freestyling with the boys at school, and you know how it go. Yeah. Also, you was one of them dudes in, like, a uh, cafeteria making beats and rapping to them or something? Yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> That's funny. I, like, I just love you. Remember. I'm not a rapper, but I just remember seeing that, and it's just quite funny to me. <laughs> but that's what's up. So I noticed that your music is very smooth. It kind of, like, reminds me of kind of, like, early 90s hip-hop, which is dope, yeah. especially, like, in your song going on. Is uh-huh. that the type of feel that you're trying to give off, or is that just one portion of it? You know, you might get a little ratchet or something. Like, what kind of feel are you trying to <laughs> give well, out? Right now, that sound right there, that's for my upcoming project, and it's called Dying Breed. Mm-hmm. So on that project, I'm going for, like, a whole 90s era kind of sound. That smooth, chill, laid-back, relaxed music. But I do have other styles. Like, my first project, Vanishing Point, it was more like a up-tempo. I wasn't really too ratchet. I still had <laughs> movement, mm-hmm. but it's still, it was more modern. Okay, that's what I was wondering because I was like, hmm, he has, sounds a little different. That's cool. Because I, I don't know, I just, I love early 90s hip hop. I love hip hop, period. But, you know, sometimes it's rappers that may say they're hip hop, but, you know, they might be on that border where they're really not. <laughs> but that's really cool. So you have a nice little variety of different types of feels that you give. Correct. Okay. So what else do you think makes you stand out from other rappers that's out, like, right now? Right now, I just try and keep everything, you know what I'm saying, correct to my lifestyle. I try to be true to myself when I get in the booth. So that's basically what keeps me different from a lot of these other rappers that rap a fantasy and all that. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah, I think I heard in one of your songs you said something about rapping about stuff that you actually go through or about rappers that rap about stuff that they don't even do or something like that. <laughs> Correct, yeah. I think that's now and later you probably heard. Okay, yeah. I was, I was doing some little homework on you. <laughs> Just a <laughs> little bit. I appreciate that. Yeah, so do you have any, like, other hobbies other than rapping? Do you dance? <laughs> uh, I can't dance. Um... What do I do? <laughs> really just rap and travel the world, and I have a daughter, and I raise her. Oh, but really? How old is she? She's one years old right now. Oh, so precious. Aw. Yeah. So you travel. Where are some places that you've been to? Um, been to New York, Philly, uh, West Coast, East Coast, down south, everywhere, basically. Wow. Just trying to get this started, trying to spread it as far as we can. Right, so just pretty much traveling specifically for your rapping career, or just traveling? Traveling for rapping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there, like, other people that do this with you? I know you're kind of, you're solo, but are there people in a group with you or something like that? Oh, of course, yeah. I have a a whole team backing me that's called Straight Flush. Um, I'm the main uh, headline artist. I have another artist with me. His name is Rob D, Mm -hmm. and he's pretty hot, too. And other than that, it's just basically a bunch of guys that's backing me, you know, helping me financially, helping me on the road. And it's just basically people that I grew up with. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Are there any, like, singers or, you know, other We're stuff? We're looking for some, but right now we haven't found any singers. Oh, hmm. We might have to connect because a singer came in a couple weeks ago, interviewed her as well. You never know. All about connecting connections. Definitely. (laughs) That's cool. So I was looking on your website, and I watched a video, and I noticed that these girls kept saying that you were so cute. And since I'm not able to see you, (laughs) is that something that you get a lot of? Like, are, you know, girls just going crazy over you? You know, I don't don't like to brag, but uh, (laughs) I do get get kind of a good luck with (laughs) it. Really? 
Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Because I'm like, man, okay, cute. Okay, let's make sure I get nice tonight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you're from Detroit. You have a daughter. About like, do you have any songs that gear towards maybe younger people or maybe anything sentimental like for your daughter or something like that? Uh, yeah, it's on my upcoming project. I actually, um, I try and keep most of my music as censored as possible. Like, I don't, I don't cuss that much. Mm-hmm. And I don't talk about a whole bunch of craziness. Right. So when she gets older and she listens to it, she can still feel respectful. But um, I'm doing something for her on my project, probably. Really? Oh, that's really nice, though. Okay. So you do have some shows coming up at all? Definitely. We're working on a, a tour in July. We're going to try and do about a good 10 to 20 cities. Wow. Do you have any ideas of where you're going to be? Uh, so basically, we're going to do Michigan for sure, Chicago, uh, D.C., New York. There's a whole bunch of cities that we have on the, on the map right now. Nice. That's what's up. You're going to have to let us know. We'll have to stay connected so we can, you know, publicize about your shows and everything. Because we usually Definitely. have, like, ticket gives, giveaways. We tell people about it. Definitely. And I'll probably have to come up there and do a show up there with you guys. Yeah, definitely. Then you can actually come in here and make nice. the show happen. I can, I can chill with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, if you had to do a song with anybody, who would it be? Right now, if I had to do a song with anybody, man, hip-hop artists, let's see. I think it would be Andre 3000. Really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Why him? I mean, I could dig think, Andre 2000, but... <laughs> I think because I was probably just listening to him today. But um, besides that, he's real dope. Um, I can't really... I don't really know how to pick that because there's so many artists that I respect, mm-hmm. especially coming up from the 90s. Right. So it's kind of hard. So that's who I'm just going to go with for right now because I was listening to him today. Oh, Nice. Okay, so like he was one of your influences in a sense. What other rappers or anything that kind of influenced your music? Um, I have, let's see, quite a few. I could, um, let's see. We have Jay Z, we have Nas, of course, Tupac mm-hmm. and Biggie, mm-hmm. uh, Dog Pound Gangsters, Andre 3000. There's so many I can go on the name is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm. Everybody that basically came up in the early '89 era to like '97 era. Nice, okay. That's that's really interesting to me that you said Andre 3000. I don't really hear that a lot. Usually, you know, of course, you hear the Jay Z, the Tupac, the Diggy. You hear, right. you, I might have even heard Nas a couple of times, but I really don't hear Andre 3000. Hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah, I mean, he's exceptionally great. Yeah, definitely. I definitely bang him. We actually play a lot of him, plus and Outkast, of course, here at the station. So, yeah. um, so I'm happy tune in to you guys more often yeah you should even though you know the school year is winding down but this is you know 24 hours so we'll be on here all the time <laughs> okay cool yeah but let me see i asked about the shows and i know you said that you'll be in michigan so hopefully you can stop around east lansing and but i wanted to know we talked about this hip-hop and how i feel like you know some rappers say they're hip-hop but they're not um, what do you think about the difference between rap and hip hop and do you think hip hop has changed? Um, I think KRS one probably said it the best. Mm. Hip hop is, is a lifestyle and rap is just what you do. Uh, a lot of people could get in the booth, you know what I'm saying, and just start spitting lyrics mm-hmm. about a bunch of crazy nonsense. But hip hop is your lifestyle. If you're living it and you're rapping it and that's what you actually are, if you are the person that you're rapping about, and that's hip hop. Hip hop is about being real. So oh. that's my take on it. Nice. See, you you bringing up all these different real hip hop artists. That's what's up. KRS One, I don't hear a lot about him either. I mean, I know about him, but I don't hear people really talk about him that much. That's really yeah, cool. I do my homework. Good. That's. I mean, that's what you sh- should do. If this is what you love to do and want to do, you got to do the best in it. So Definitely. do your homework. <laughs> So, what's about the Detroit scene? Like, how is hip-hop in Detroit, coming from Detroit, like, what's the hip-hop scene there? And was it hard to, you know, make sure you stay how you want to do, you know, being from Detroit? Uh, Shout out to everybody coming out of Detroit. (laughs) I really don't pay attention to Detroit artists. I try and stay away from them. I try and hit the road because I don't want to be looked at as a local artist. So, I try and not do as much as I can here. Like, my last show here was probably almost a year ago. Wow. 
I really don't want to come back here and do a show until like I'm theater status. Only. Oh, nice. And I mean, just because you don't want to just be a local, or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's it's like a rat race around here. Like mm-hmm. everybody's doing the same thing. Right. So I try to look more exclusive and oh. be on the road. Nice. That actually makes sense, though, really. Because, I mean, if you're out performing in other locations, it kind of spreads you out a little bit more instead of just always being in Detroit in the city. So, Mm -hmm. hmm, that's really good. I really commend you on that because some people do try to stay local because that's where people know them. So, (laughs) So we played your song earlier, going, um, and... I kind of wanted to talk about that because that's the song that I was saying that was more of a 90s feel. You said that was on your last project. Was it called Vanishing it's on Point? My, uh, upcoming project. Your upcoming that's project. Up. Yep, Dying Breed. Mm-hmm. Dying Breed. Wait, so what was Vanishing um, Project? That was older? That was my very Vanishing first Point? Mixtape. Okay, mm-hmm. that was your first mixtape. So what songs were from that? Because I don't think we got something from that. Uh, Those are more like the modern type songs. Uh-huh. I mean, it was still smooth, but uh, if you heard it, you would have been able to recognize it because it, it didn't really have like that old 90s feel it had more of a modern um, type of feel okay I got you okay maybe that's why I was kind of confused about it <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay so but in the song that we just played earlier um, what kind of was behind that song like what made you write that Um, my brother he sent me that beat and the beat just sounds so you know old school it sounds so lovely that I had to write something that <laughs> Love me. So when I was writing it, um, I was just thinking about because I think I just came back from uh, Philly mm-hmm. when I was writing that, and I had a good time in Philly. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna write about how my life is when I'm on the road. So that's how the song came about. Okay. As I saw the video too, it looked like y'all was partying, even though y'all wasn't supposed to yeah. be. Mm. <laughs> that was. Uh, we shot that one close to. Uh, Western Michigan University at a college called Andrews University. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Funny. So, when people come into this studio, I always have them do something, whatever they do best. And since you're a rapper, I must hear you freestyle right now. <laughs> if you don't mind. I mean, you know, I, you, I mean, you know, you gotta be on call. You know, you're a rapper. So, Definitely. whenever. Whenever you're ready, I don't know if you need a beat or anything, but you know you can just do acapella, make it work. <laughs> if, you, if you play a beat, would it be able to pick up over the phone? I'm not sure actually, but if you want, you can just go acapella, just make it work. I'll just do it acapella. All right, for sure. Let me out. You ready? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> and what they making in a month? I spend it in a week. Just to chill on the beach with a couple bad girls and my homie Rob D. We probably getting pissy off of Henny, smoking ganja, spinning benjis. My second main attraction is Grants and Jackson's. And I'm stacking till I hit a million yarn like dream. My life ain't what it seems. My dog is way better. My dogs is seven letters. They dogs is little peas. U-S-S-I-E's. I hit my whole team like, let's get this cheese. And they all said they down with it. Heading out of town with it. Seven times. <laughs> no, nah, let me stop because I think I was going to cuss. <laughs> Oh, thank you for being considerate. (laughs) That's what's up. Yeah, because, you know, they might cut us off real quick because they will do that. No, I'm playing. (laughs) That's what's up. (laughs) Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely need to get you in here. So where can people hit you up at? I mean, I know you have a Twitter. I saw you have, like, all these Twitter followers. So let's see. Get your Twitter. You got Facebook, MySpace, anything like that. You can find out more about me at jscripts.com mm-hmm. or Twitter backslash jscripts or Facebook slash jscripts. Everything is jscripts. If you go on the social media network and just type jscripts, mm-hmm. you'll see if I'm on there or not. Okay, cool. And they can find your, like, your, on your website, they can find your Twitter, Facebook, and everything on there as well if they just want to go there. Okay, cool. Do, do you follow back? Definitely, I follow everybody that follows me back. Well, really? as long as they hit me up, mm-hmm. as uh, long as they're not like crazy looking or something. <laughs> they're crazy looking. Oh, that's so mean. They're a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might be some people out here that's like have Justin Bieber in there. <laughs> That's funny. Can't really follow that back. <laughs> That's deep, actually. Dang. <laughs> what's, so, since you've been traveling around all of the United States, what's the craziest thing that's happened while you've been touring around? Let's see. What's the craziest thing that happened? 
we have so many, uh, let me think. This is going to take me a second. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Um, oh. <laughs> I missed my. This is what happened. Okay. I missed my flight uh-huh. in NY, and I didn't know how I was gonna get back home oh. because the next flight was uh not until like tomorrow sometime. Uh huh. So I had to go all the way to the Greyhound. They wouldn't let nobody in. I had to sleep out. Well, I didn't sleep outside. I had to stay outside for about six hours, and it was oh. cold until like the next bus came so that was probably one of my worst experiences on the road oh my goodness dang did you did you have something fun that happened while you were on the road <laughs> oh we have yeah we have fun every time we're on the road oh, okay like you have any like sneaking in the clubs or anything <laughs> <laughs> no nah, we uh we don't really club we have a club in the hotel room mm-hmm. but we don't really club like that oh wow huh. we stay we stay focused Good. I am so glad to hear that because I hear so many crazy stories and drinking and partying and, you know, just doing the most. And <laughs> That's not really us. Good. Okay. So are all y'all around the same, like, age group? I'm, like, the youngest. Everybody else is probably 25, 26, 27. Oh, what, how old are you? Out of the bunch. I'm 23. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I don't know why I thought you were maybe, like, a little older. I guess you just sounded a little more mature. So I was like, oh, he must be, you know, his late 20s or something. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm, a, I'm still fairly young. Oh, I mean, that's what's up. Oh, my goodness. So if you were to, like, go to college somewhere, where would you go? If I was to, like, what? If you were to go to college somewhere, where would you go? Oh, um, hmm. <clears throat> MSU. <laughs> oh. MSU, I would go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just asking. Just, just. If not you. MSU, I would probably go to um, online school. Actually, to tell you the truth, because I like, I need the freedom. Right. Huh. Interesting. Would you like study music? Um. You said what I was. Would sorry, you I'm study music saying. since you know you're into that? Oh, no, I wouldn't study music. I wouldn't study music. I'd probably uh study something like marketing or business. Nice. I'm like a marketing genius. You're a marketing genius? Of course, of course. (laughs) Really? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What's your best quality about yourself? Um, you know, me and my friends make fun of this all the time. Mm -hmm. My best quality is is my openness and my friendliness. Like, whenever we walk in the streets or something or somebody has a problem, they'll come up to me and my friends be like, you got to stop looking so friendly or people always (laughs) come up to you. So that's one of my best qualities is my open personality. Oh, nice. I get that, too. My friends, they think I'm crazy, though, because I just talk to everybody. But I don't know. I'm just, I, I like people sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So when is your mixtape, is your next upcoming project going to drop, or is it finished? or? It's been finished. Well, it's almost finished. We still got to do, like, wrapping up stuff, like getting it mastered mm-hmm. and some skits and probably a few more songs. But we're aiming for July. July. When the tour comes. Perfect. So July should be dropped, and that's when your tour is going to start across the United States or to your collective cities. Across the United States. Oh, okay. The whole United States. That's what's up. Do you plan on maybe going overseas at all? Maybe trying to market uh, yeah, out there? Yeah, I, I got some money over there, so yeah, I need to go over there. Oh, check you out. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, my goodness. Well, I just want to thank you so much for hanging with us here at The Vibe. We de- I definitely enjoyed this conversation. You're very cool, and I really want you to come into the station so you can meet everybody and see where we are and what we do, and so we can see what you do firsthand. <laughs> That's cool. Sounds good to me. I appreciate you guys for having me. I had a great time with you. Oh, thank you. So, everybody, make sure you find this man, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. Hit his uh, email address, or not his email, but his website up. He's He's dope. So, again, this is your girl, Antonise. Coming up right now is some more music here on The Impact, 89FM, The Vibe.